Kotri, and I am going to be reviewing changes coming to Cloud Console to the Cloud Console in coming months. In this specific tutorial, I will provide an overview of the new VCF Business Services Console and the migration of the current console.cloud.vmware.com organizations and usage meters to the new VCF Business Services Console. If we take a look at this diagram, the current architecture that is in place is depicted on the left, with the future architecture being depicted on the right. Today, VCSP partners have sites, and if those sites also have valid and active commit contracts, the site was also going to have a consumption portal where users with the appropriate roles and permissions are able to interact with the contracts and generate license keys. We also have repurposed VCPP Cloud Console organizations and their usage meters to be part of the new VCSP program. However, there's no explicit systematic connection between the site today and the VCPP Cloud Console organization. Each portals are completely independent of each other. With the launch of the new VCF Business Services Console, an explicit connection between the partner site and the Business Services Console tenant will be put in place. Each site with an active commit contract will be explicitly linked to one VCF Business Services Console tenant. At this point, each user of the Business Services Console must also be a user of the site. We will be performing a user migration to limit any interruptions in partner user access and job responsibility. Active users of the VCPP Cloud Console organizations identified for migration will be added to the org's corresponding site and created as users in the new business services console tenant with mapped roles and permissions so that the users will be able to perform the same job functions in the business services console tenant that they were able to perform in the VCPP Cloud Console organization. We will not be giving any users any access to the consumption portal, the contracts, or the license keys. We will only be enabling users with a Broadcom role site access, which allows us to add users to the tenant with specific roles and permissions. In addition to uh, migrating active users, we will also be migrating active usage meters. So any usage meter that is communicating Broadcom license keys and has in an organization designated for migration will be migrated to the new business services console tenant, along with their corresponding reports since the beginning of the VCSP program in May of 2024. Upon migration, any new usage meter registrations will occur in the new business services console tenants. Usage meters communicating only legacy VMware license keys will not be migrated. Please note, each site with an active commit contract will be linked to one business services console tenant. If you have usage meters registered in multiple VCPP organizations and only have one site, please contact your SA or submit an SR request request to have those usage meters move to the one organization you would like migrated. In addition to migrating users and usage meters, we will also be enabling partners to interact with experiences via API. If partners have already integrated with API as part of the VCPP Cloud Console organization, they will have to create new OAuth apps in the new VCF Businesses Services tenant. As the OAuth apps are very specific to the or to the platform they were created on, migration is not possible. New OAuth apps will be able to be created and APIs will be available for usage meter registration and management. Thank you.